Many of us remember the 1990s Chicago Bulls dynasty, but forget about anyone after the team was dismembered that wasn't named Michael Jordan. We could somewhat remember Scottie Pippen and the issues he had with the Bulls management in which it appeared the issues would never be solvable. But do you remember Scottie Pippen playing for the Chicago Bulls a second time? Here's the story of how Scottie Pippen was able to finish his career as a Chicago Bull. Let's go back to June 17, 1991. The Chicago Bulls had just won their first NBA championship. Pippen was in contract negotiations with the Bulls. Pippen was in dire need of money and financial stability. His father became disabled due to a stroke, while his brother was paralyzed due to a freak accident in high school gym class. There were two people in his parents' household who would use wheelchairs, and Pippen was going to take care of them. The Bulls disgustingly took advantage of Pippen, even his agent would tell him not to sign. They would not renegotiate the contract after finalizing. The 90s would see a huge boom in player salaries shortly after Pippen would sign. Ugh. Seven years worth $18 million. Yep, Pippen would win three championships and when Jordan retired in 1994, Pippen would nearly win the MVP of the league, averaging 22 points, almost nine rebounds, and five and a half assists and add some lockdown defense while leading the Bulls to 55 wins that season. Due to the bad blood between Pippen and Bulls management, they would not look to extend his contract. By the 1997 and 98 season, Pippen was the 6th highest paid Bull on the team and the 122nd highest paid in the league. Pippen and Jordan were the only two players from the Bulls championship era to win 6 championships. Jordan made $33 million that year and the year prior he made 30. Pippen was still making less than $3 million a year even though he was considered one of the best next to Jordan in the league. Talk about being ungrateful. During the Bulls run, Pippen was almost traded twice, in 1994 to the Sonics for Sean Kemp and in 1997 for young Tracy McGrady and a bunch of other options. Pippen for all these years continues to feel disrespected by the Bulls management. He requested a trade after his sixth championship, though it was sort of delayed due to the following season being a lockout of only 50 games, but it happened. Pippen would finally get his wish and finally be paid the money he long deserved. He would be involved in a sign and trade as the Bulls didn't even try to resolve the issues with Pippen and offer one of the best players in the league a contract. Pippen would be traded for the Houston Rockets. This was a team Scotty wanted to play for. With Barkley and Olajuwon already on the team and the $82 million for five years with $15 million in incentives, Pippen was finally going to get the money he was worth. He can thank Barkley as he renegotiated his contract to get Pippen over to Houston. The lockout season would start in February of 1999. Each team would play 50 games that season. Unfortunately, this is where it takes a turn for the worse for Pippen. Hakeem was starting to slow down, missing half the season the previous year due to an injury, and although he averaged 18 and 9 he was a different player in the postseason more on that later to add to the dream being out of his prime Barkley also wasn't the same not only was he out of his prime but he was also overweight Pippen also went on record to state that Houston wanted him to be a three-point shooter the Rockets would post a 31 and 19 record and place fifth in the Western Conference Pippen would average 14 and a half points a game which was the lowest average in nine years and shoot 43 percent from the field which at that point was also a career low he added six and a half rebounds and six assists with an NBA all-defensive first team but no all-star appearance during the postseason they would face the fourth seed Lakers with Shaq and young Kobe. Pippen does what he knows best in the playoffs, averaging 18 points although he struggled to shoot well from the field at 32% and from the three-point line he shot 27% but added almost 12 rebounds, five and a half assists and 1.5 steals for this series. Barkley played well also in the playoffs considering he averaged 16 points and 12 rebounds during the season. It went up to 23 and a half points and 13 rebounds in the postseason. Olajuwon had career lows during his playoff performance at 13.3 points a game and only six rebounds. Having to guard a prime Shaq would cause that also, but he wasn't the same at 36 years old, only playing 30 minutes a game. The Rockets would lose in four games, three to one, in a best of five series. Things looked much better on paper than they would actually play out, but fair warning to Scotty, Jordan would tell Pippen prior to the season that Barkley was lazy and didn't work hard and would never be a champion, but realistically that wasn't why they lost. It appeared that winning with the trio of just three stars was not the answer. As years prior, they traded a solid group of guys to attain Barkley from a championship team. Houston tried the same tactic of three players with Olajuwon, Barkley, and Drexler to no avail. You need role players, especially in the playoffs. The season ended and Pippen would voice his opinion and be traded along with his massive contract to the Portland Trail Blazers for Kelvin Cato, Walt Williams, Ed Gray, Brian Shaw, and Carlos Rogers.
and Stacy Ogman. Poor Stacy Ogman, the defensive specialist who'd be relieved of his duties and signed back to Portland. That's a good confidence booster. Pippen would be on a team surrounded by talent. Just look at the list of players. Rashid Wallace, Damon Stoudemire, Sabonis, Detlef Shrimp, and Steve Smith. They would be coached by Mike Dunleavy Sr. This was a team that could only beat themselves. They would have to find a way to become unselfish and sacrifice themselves for the betterment of the team. Easier said than done. But in fact, they did. With Pippen in the starting lineup, the Blazers would match their franchise best winning record of 59 games and 23 losses. They would place third in the Western Conference, which would make their 18th playoff appearance in a row. In the first round, the Blazers would face and defeat the Timberwolves three games to one. They would play the Jazz in the second round and win four games to one, making it to the conference finals. There they would face Shaq, Young Kobe, and the Lakers. The Blazers would be up three games to one in the best of seven series. Game, set, match but not quite. The Lakers would claw their way back and force a Game 7, and I bet you can guess what happened. The Blazers were up by 15 points with 10 minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, while the Lakers managed to go on a 15-0 run to tie the game. They would pull out the 89-84 win and advance to the finals against the Pacers. They would go on to win six games, and the rest is history. Many people believe to this day that the officials tampered with the Blazers and Lakers series. At 34 years old, Scotty would put up excellent numbers in the postseason for the talented Portland Trail Blazers team, averaging 15 points, 7 rebounds and 4 assists, and 2 steals. But without a championship, the season was a failure. Scotty would play 3 more seasons with the Blazers and not make it past the first round. Actually, the Blazers wouldn't win another playoff series until 2014, when Damian Lillard hit a 3-pointer to clinch the series in 6 games against the Houston Rockets. Closure. We all need it sometimes, especially Scotty. He would return to Chicago in 2004 at the age of 38. Scotty would return home to the place where it all began 16 years ago. The GM at the time, John Paxson, a former point guard who was part of the first three Pete Bulls in the early 90s. How bittersweet this moment would be as Paxson would encourage Pippen to leave the Blazers and finish where he started. Pippen would sign a contract for two years worth $10 million, but would only play 23 games. The Bulls would not make the playoffs. This would be the first time in Pippen's career where he did not make the postseason. Pippen would not go on to play another year with the Bulls and would retire before the 2004 and 05 season. The end. But wait, Pippen would return to the Bulls in 2010 as a team ambassador, and in 2012 he would be hired as a senior advisor. The end. But wait, Pippen was fired from the Bulls' duties in April of 2020. <sighs> Could it be because of the last dance?